Hi guys, I'm Dr. Dylan De Beer from uh, PAWS. I'm a veterinarian, been working in Mauritius for a while and uh, we've been lucky enough to be blessed with these two little Mauritian fruit bats. Um, so what happened is, this is little Bruce. What happened with him is, is his mother was shot um, by an unknown person and one of the lucky volunteers picked up little Bruce along with a dead mother unfortunately brought in little Bruce and he had a little fracture on his front finger which they actually use as the leading part of their wing. Unfortunately it was shattered and we had to amputate part of his wing. So he's been in our care now for the past three weeks and he's been doing really well. Like you can see he's been drinking, he's been eating, he loves eating pulp fruit um, and also drinking a, a milk composite that we're giving him and he's been doing excellent on that. Unfortunately he's sleeping so you guys can't see him move too much at the moment but he's doing really well. Then to my right is Robin. He came to us about three days after little Bruce. His wing was broken uh, by an unknown cause. We don't think it's a bullet. He might have struck a, uh, something like a wire and it's also caused the same fracture in his wing which I then had to pin which is placing an intermedullary stainless steel Steinman pin into his wing to work as an internal brace to keep the bone from, and to heal it. So he's been doing really well at this stage. He's also eating well. He's adapted to uh, temporary captivity really well. He's eating well. He's eating a lot of fruit, drinking water. He's become quite social. Um, he reacts with us and interacts with us very well. So we are happy with his healing as well. His wing is healing and hopefully by the time that that wing is healed, we will be able to release him so he can go back into the wild and be with his colony. Regarding the culling of the Mauritian fruit bats, um, I'm very against it because they are an endangered species and I don't think that the studies that have been done have been done properly. Um, and also these animals are endangered, like I said, and there are certain areas like, for instance, Rodrigues, where they were indigenous where they have now actually gone extinct. So there are other means of maybe relocating them and repopulating Rodrigues. And then also, you know, lowering the numbers, but there are also non-lethal ways of protecting the fruit crops against bats, which is the major problem that's been put in front of the government and they have now decided to act upon and to actively cull them. And that's all guys. So really hope that you guys are changing your point of view and that we can all look after these animals and see them for the wonderful animals that they are.